In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access to the new Zapier AI, as well as how you can use it for different purposes. It's currently in beta version, so it's still a work in progress, but you're currently able to turn it on so you can use it in your profile. Now make sure that you have your Zapier account firstly set up and then you are going to be able to turn this on. If you are interested in tech and AI, including Zapier, then definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. All right, let's get started. So the first thing is that you see that my homepage currently looks different than yours. So in order to get this uh, activated, you have to go to a page called zapier.com AI. Here you can see a landing page which is explaining exactly what Zapier AI is and how you can also activate it in your profile. So here it says, power your automation with AI, combine the magic of AI with the power of Zapier to accelerate the work that matters the most. Here you have the option to directly try it out. So you put your Zapier email, the same one that you use for your Zapier account, then you tick this box. And then you also see that by clicking get access, you agree to the AI supplementary terms for all Zapier AI beta features. If we scroll down, we can see all the features that you are going to be given. Firstly, we have automation made easier with AI, streamline your workflow in minutes, simply describe what you would like to automate and our AI tools will create the steps, write the code and build your Zaps for you. So here you can see that the first thing you are going to get access is uh, creating a Zap using plain English. Automate your workflows faster by using natural language. Describe what you want to automate and we will draft a Zap that you can easily customize. If we scroll down, we can see that you are going to also get a chance to turn a sentence into code. So customize your workflows without writing any code just describe what you would like to do and we will generate custom code to power your workflows. And then thirdly, you will be able to create a custom chatbot with Zapier interfaces. Zapier interfaces beta gives you the ability to build forms, web pages and basic apps that can also pull in the power of OpenAI's GPT via a chatbot component. My last video on my channel showed you exactly how you can create your bot within seconds and then how you can also put that chatbot directly on your website. I'm gonna link that video down below, so make sure to check it out. There is some more text down here, but essentially what you want to do is to uh, get access to AI beta features. It's going to forward you on the top of the landing page. And so basically you put your email here, the same one that you use for Zapier account. Then you check the box, get access to all AI beta features. And then you are simply going to be redirected to your account with this new homepage. You can see that you can start create apps with the text or with your prompts as they described on the landing page. So here you have an example and if you click on show more examples, you are going to see what you can actually write here. Save new leads from Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets and email me the lead in Gmail. Or when I get the new Salesforce lead, send me an email, then send it to the cats channel in Slack if the lead is tagged as big fish. I want customer support tickets from Zendesk to create an Airtable entry and notify the customer care channel in Slack. So if we just copy uh, this one, for example, and we put it here and we press generate, you are going to get a pop-up. You simply just agree and continue. You can see it's generating the flow for us. And just like that, you have it done. So let's have a look at that. Save Facebook lead ads leads to Google Sheets and email them. You then get the flow. The first step is new lead Facebook lead ads. The second step is to create a spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. And then the third one is to send an email exactly like we wrote. You can also click on the arrows here and then you can change it. Or if you press on this one, you are going to be able to uh, delete the step. But then if you want to try to use this workflow, you simply click on try it and then you are going to be redirected to your workflow builder. And here you can see that we have the flow built for us immediately, but you then simply just continue and build your workflow as you are used to. The next thing you are going to be able to get access to is something called Zapier interfaces. So here uh, you simply can go to interfaces.zapier.com interfaces. Here you are going to be able to build your chatbot 
forms, lead captures, simple CRM forms, and much more. I do have a video how you can create your own chatbot here and directly put it on your website. I'm gonna link that video down below. The next thing is that currently it's in beta version, so it's not 100%. The flows that you build with your prompts are not always going to turn out very good. So a quick tip for you is that you simply just want to copy uh, these examples. You want to then go and let's use uh, ChatGPT4. And then you simply want to write down, please see the structure of these prompts, examples that are used for Zapier AI to build Zaps examples here you are going to place the examples that you copy from here so you train ChatGPT to know how the outline and structure for the prompts look like and then simply you ask ChatGPT to create 20 other examples like this for different apps if we uh, press send and just like that we generated 20 different examples that you can use with Zapier AI and so you don't even have to think about the structure. Obviously if you have some apps in mind that you really want to use then you simply just write it in your prompt please create examples using these apps. For example let's have a look at this one if a new task is assigned to me in Asana add the task to my Trello board and send me an email via Outlook. Let's copy this one, go to our Zapier AI homepage. We are going to paste it here and hit generate. And we can see that the uh, Zap flow has been built for us. So uh, the first step is new task in Project Asana, then create card Trello, and then uh, send an email Microsoft Outlook. You can then uh, click on try it and you are free to uh, edit this in different ways as you are used to. And then lastly, if you want to try out the turn a sentence into a code feature, you simply go and let's say that you are going to create a new Zap. Here, as you can see, you also get the uh, AI feature feature on the top of the page when you are creating your zaps from scratch. Let's say that for the sake of this video, we are just going to search code by Zapier, for example, then we are going to choose event. So for example, run a Python, we are going to hit continue. And here is where you can actually see the new feature generate with AI. You simply click on it. And then here is where you can write your own prompt. So here, for example, I'm going to write down split the full name input into first name and last name, and I'm going to hit generate code. I then get the code and I can simply just hit the add code button and the code has been automatically added here. And then I simply continue with the flow. Here they're also letting you know how to write your prompt. So you should use plain language in your prompt. You do not need to use technical language, avoid ambiguity, be clear. You can manually edit your AI generated code at any time. For action steps, you can reference, input data from your code step. If you are making a request to a specific API, it is recommended to include the name of the API in your prompt. And here you have some examples again. All right, that's it. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are interested in tech AI, including Zapier, make sure to subscribe down below. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.